A Jared and Jacob are two LDS, Latter day Sinners, Mormons, on their mission from the devil. And they're going down the street, a nice street in any town. America, where most of the folks are uh, out working hard. And of course not there. They said maybe for some retired tired folks, little old ladies, and sets so for them to pray on. A P R E Y. And uh, they come up to this one door and they they knock and Jared notices something, he said, Look at that. And Jacob looks down, it's one of those things. Oh, no, it's not one of my fives. It could be. I advise you to wallpaper your neighborhood all across America when the Latter day sinners, the Mormons, knock on your door. You, uh, you ask them, How did your, is your phone allowed to work to take part in religious censorship when my family's lifeline is not allowed to work because of it? I've been asking for 9-11 flight 93 takes for a decade. I've yet to get one. You know, the same folks that attacked us from the outside with all those cowardly Husseins and then attacked us from the inside with that uh, other cowardly Hussein placing in our White House. Uh, they're hijacking your calls. Don't take my word for it. 424-229-4140. Make the video whatever you get when you don't get me. John Melton Brady. Been asking for a 93 chicks for a decade. And yes, those who are hijacking your calls to me are worried enough about it to alter phone records covered up. That's where all of America, with videos on their phones nowadays, can make a video of whoever's next to you trying to call me. 424-229-4140, whatever boring thing you get. It's not going to be boring and you need the firemen, the police, the paramedics. It's money out of your pocket every day. Your gate's livelihood, your spectrum the livelihood, whatever's the big name in your business so they can get the business. They're on the right side of that great wall of evil, 201. That's stopping your call to me right now. No certified mail, no non-certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS, no private carriers. Gonna mail me something, make a video at first, and yes it takes, it's gonna be sold now. Takes five minutes. Whoever's in the room there with you, make that video of whatever you get when you don't get me. Oh, I'm missing one. Uh, let's be in the bedroom. All priests. Yes, all priests, all policemen, all firemen. That's the one that's missing. But yes, back to that. Uh, those who are hijacking your calls to me are word enough about their crime of doing that to alter phone records covered up. Oh, some saints in here. I don't know if it's the best light for that, but... So you get video proof. Because I guarantee you guys, me asking for a 93 check for a decade and not getting one because of very obvious religious censorship. I plan to build Jesus as a Michael's house. I have my funny son of a carpenter and Mary parables. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter Mary. Dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. Son of a carpenter Mary get to make parables. My humorous stuff, but I very seriously advocate the values of Christianity, truth being high among them. So you make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines. You get everyone. Network news anchors, local news anchors, any and all in the public eye, on video, on audio, witnessing, nothing else. What do you know about John Melton Brady asking for a 93 check for a decade? That's a check of American Lifeline. That's simply you calling me, knowing your phone works all the time. This is a 93 check. Not one in a decade. What do you know about that? Get the reaction post. Now back to Jared and Jacob. They see that little decal there. 
And it doesn't save my big fight, or it could. I'll think of it as something after I perhaps move to a better place than here. And I don't need the contact on there to have you demonstrate your types, your, uh, your hijacked lifelines. It's just about general Mormon character. It says, never mind the dogs. Beware the owner. Armed with a phone. We've all got those phones with those uh, cameras on them. Armed with a phone. And making videos of Mormon character, the Latter-day Sinners, the LDS, Mormon. A threat to America with their Muslim connections. Uh, they have a lot of them on uh, Utah campuses, I'm told, uh, shared values with their sister faith, uh, fraud of the faith. Anger, uh, well, if you've ever seen the Mormon anger. Religious censorship being those shared values. <clears throat> so let me get a couple more of those in. Remember, you can pick up your phone, tell your own, and yeah, do that. Let them know. America is watching them. Especially if you see them, you know, loading large uh, cartons, uh, boxes, and truckloads of Kool-Aid. Uh, Uh, yeah, hmm. you can't get more, uh, oh, let's throw that one in. Cops have pulled, uh, Jared and Jacob over. It's my stock, uh, Mormon stuff. Jared and Jacob, the Mormon missionary. Sometimes Jared and, uh, Abdul because of their connections to the Muslims. They pulled them over and, uh, they said, well, we just checking stuff that doesn't fit in the neighborhood. You, you don't live here, do you? And I know we don't. We're... We're missionaries, we're doing this, we're doing that, and they said, well, we got to check, and they become indignant as they check the license and, relig and uh, registration. We're missionaries, we're promoting our church, and yeah, one of the cops uh, says, oh, and this, uh, we may have to change to that, as a stock kind of thing. One of them says to uh, a gym. The Mormon missionary says, uh, yeah, you got to remember, Jim Jones was also promoting his church at one point. As far as Rome Nuclear Medical Research being passed by with not only Dignity Health and Glendale Memorial not being part of it, but being actively in the way of it, taunting a man in a wheelchair and more pain than sorry ass has ever been it. There's the brown. Eyes from 2013, a little darker, I think. I got another photo that printed, printed a little lighter. But there's some light part right here. This is a brown uh, eyes from just before when the hospital lost 80 pounds in 2014. Smaller, rounder eyes disappearing, bigger blue eyes growing in through and around. But back to my parable. Uh, one of the cops says, yeah, you gotta remember Jim Jones was uh, promoting his uh, doing missionary work, uh, promoting his uh, church, and the other cop says, oh, yeah, don't forget Charlie Manson. I pronounced it wrong. Don't forget Charlie Monson. I hate that. Uh, I was mispronouncing the uh, Wyrm Wadeo. Uh, Ever present eyes and ears of technology and a more honest world. That's my video series about that. But it, the other one says, uh, you can see the brown right there towards the center of the eye. Darker two tone kind of brown. At times it can be all whited over. It's all going towards what's on the outside. The outer ring of the brown is missing now. And the other cop says, yeah. <clears throat> That's what Charlie Monson was doing. 
promoting his church. Now, who's the leader of this this little group of yours uh, going around America casing neighborhoods? And of course, uh, from what I googled, current leader is uh, somebody Monson. He uh, changed the first part of his name, I guess, to folks wouldn't recognize. Uh, next one. Uh, Uh, Jared and Jacob, uh, Jim and um, uh, Charlie, Jim and Charles. I got. Uh, I'm not sure which is more popular. <clears throat> Jim and Charles are uh, our case in neighborhood, uh, doing missionary work. And the thing is, uh, when they had been by, or when previous missionaries had been by couple months ago the owner didn't have the dogs and so uh, the owner uh, unexpectedly home he had to you know, pick something up otherwise he'd be at work they, they've done their casing work well except for those two things and uh, he sees them cornered in the backyard by the you know, by those this dog. Once again, never mind the dog. Beware the owners. We got cameras on our phones. We're documenting your character left and right for the protection of America, for the protection of our communities. And uh, Charles, Charles, or Jim, the missionaries, not uh, always being taught to be quick on their feet, said, "Oh, look, we found your dogs. We brought them back." They were out running around. Come to me in person. I'll look for more of those. And yeah, the devil insists they, that frog will face spend three out long hours each Sunday worshiping him and his lies. Get their numbers. Put their numbers on the backs of pies. Oh, let me mention that. It's all the uh, LA firefighters uh, character again. That affects you too across America because you're vacationing out here. You know what is driving them to uh, do the things that they do. The LA firefighters like to show up uh, with alcohol in the breath and be disrespectful and not take me to a hospital with doctors. Take me to Glendale Adventist Dignity Health. Uh, gave me that pain medicine that's eight times better than. Morphine there, and you would think you give somebody eight times something that's eight times better than morphine. You'd put them in a room. You'd uh, release them with some type of uh, pain medicine. No, showing their character all, to, all they wanted to make sure I knew they knew I was in pain, and they were being uh, part of the Hussein placing uh, kind of hijacking of America. We need to undo. Okay, uh, yeah, they took me over there. Uh, one of them forgot where he parked along the way, the paramedics. Put the numbers of California's uh, firefighters on the backs of pot. Put the numbers of every Mormon you can find on the backs of pot. Well, you know about this guy, not just for their active participation in me, my religious censorship, and uh, in turn, the censorship of uh, our lifelines. Can't reach me and tell me what you believe. Can't ask what I mean by Jesus is my good house here on earth. That's religious censorship. A lot of folks don't care about that. They care about that lifeline not working, not knowing when else it won't be allowed to work. Doesn't work when you need firemen, police, paramedics, real ones. It's going to be just as uh, newsworthy as me asking for a decade. So we the people must be reporter, reporter check and post in five. And, uh, oh. I feel I was in the middle of something, but I got to end. It's 15 minutes. It takes too long to process. Come tell me what you uh, what you believe in person. Ask what I mean by Jesus as a medical house. Tell me what's, what needs to inspire the world with that house. Those thousand points of light to be built once you tear down the Great Wall of Evil. That's just me. And all of my imagery, yeah, like skylines, uh, flowers. Tear it down. Let's get started on those thousand points I'd like to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. 
show my place with doctors and uh, where Mormons aren't allowed to run wild and yeah get those uh, stickers going never mind the uh, dogs be where the owners we're documenting your character left and right with our phones keep your ears up yeah. remember they were part of that sham election placing Hussein in our White House that first time can't reach me to tell me who I said vote for, what I said vote for. You don't know how many others. You get that boring thing, phone ring, every minute of business signal. Whatever boring thing you get, try to call a thousand, countless other folks to tell them who they said vote for. That's how religious censorship affecting our lifeline affects our politics, our government, good leaders. Not being able to get in because of that. Make that video of America's hijacked lifelines. Post it. Easiest thing to do takes just five minutes. Check and post in five. And yeah, ask every Mormon, what do you know about this? And uh, why are you casing our neighborhoods? But yeah, I have to call it Jesus and make it house. Uh, it's uh, in the fine print. You can call an opportunity house if you want. Uh, opportunity for all kinds of folks all kinds of, all over the world to build a better world. But I have to call it Jesus and make it house. It's in the fine print and there will be a test at the end. I hear it's past, failed, or purgatory. 